uh, unreactable movement. He can decide to go in, and although his attacks and hurtboxes, hitboxes are not the strongest, um, that movement speed obviously being one of his biggest strengths. Uh, his initial dash not great, so not necessarily able to play on the edge as much as uh, on the edge of someone's threat range as some of the other fast characters. But Wolf in this matchup probably going to play safer. Big hitboxes are going to be his best bet against a, a sort of unreactable fast initial dash or a fast character like Sonic. Oh yeah, he's got the good out of shield options. He's just got to watch out for the good confirms. I don't really know too much about Sonic. Yeah, to be honest, yeah. Though. Same, but. Uh, his, his strengths, of course, being his movement. Oh, yeah. Uh, but not having an initial dash means his dash dance is not too strong. Oh. So, yeah, he's probably not going to be playing, like I said earlier, in the, uh, like at the edge of a character's threat range. He'll be playing a little further. Yep. Going for those rolls, obviously not nearly as good as they were in Smash 4, because uh, you can't... Because hey, shielding, yeah. shield canceling, that was not as good. You can't just camp out the enemy like you did in Smash 4. And I'm grateful for that. Sonic is hella lame in Smash 4, let me uh, tell you, man. Hey, with the jabs, trying to just keep stage control and put out safe aerials. Yeah. More jabs. And it seems to me like it's going to be pretty hard for Wolf to get kills against uh, Sonic, but it's especially Sunito. Oh, yeah. Fast definitely. character, trying to play outside of your range. Um, yeah. Wolf with character S to usually get a hard... Wow. Yeah, fair. That spin dash, that looked pretty true. Spin dash to fair, oh yeah. Probably could have DI'd to avoid that. Not DI'd the, uh, the forward air, of course, but DI'd the hit of the spin dash, but... Yeah. Who knows how to DI's on? I don't. Someone. <laughs> I'm sure someone does. High level players. Yeah. And that move's just going right through the shield. Yeah. One of the moves in this game that can cross up. Um, yeah, one of the only moves that crosses up. Yep. Yeah. Usually just being that and like dash attacks that'll cross up. Some dash attacks, not all of them. But it was yeah. still playing it safe, just trying to get some good hits. Yeah, and and this is, you know, one of the situations that and the back throw for Wolf definitely gonna kill there, especially on a uh, counted city. Alright, he's only got a fifty percent deficit. If he can get back on the stage, we can see what he can roll. And yeah, when uh, when Sonic starts to roll towards you sometimes, the only thing you can really do is shield. And that's good. He can't really punish your shield. He doesn't get that much off of grabs. No. Like most characters in that's this game. That's the best option. So just shield, sit back, throw out hitboxes. Um, but yeah, but so, you know, it's, one it's of really the biggest defining control. factors between good players and, and not as good players is just how well you can play patient. Yep. And uh, Sonic players probably very used to, to applying that patience because oh, they do have to find the right opening to get things off of uh, Sonic's slightly lackluster kit in this game. Which will be not being homing attack, not being safe on shields, apparently. Not strong punishes, but still not safe. Yeah. Ooh, and it's also a fairly small window to punish. And Sonic's forward smash a very scary two-frame threat. Oh, definitely. But uh, haven't haven't oh, seen Sunito hit many of those today, so oh, uh, still inconsistent. But that's just the nature of two-frames, you know. Sometimes you get it, sometimes you don't. Yep. Good empty jump gets the grab. So yeah, again, not to take backstage. Yep. Gonna rack up some damage. Uh, Tadeo going for the up smash to, to try and take the stock early and even things out, but maybe a little greedy and got him into a disadvantage for a bit. Good up smash scoop. Wouldn't, wouldn't even have killed as we just saw, he did get the up smash. So, uh, spot dodge, Sonic able to go in whenever whenever he wants, so easily able to wait out a spot dodge. Yeah, and yeah, great patience there by interesting. I don't I don't know how the uh, attack works. Such a strange move. Landing Parry. there. Good on, good on Wolf. Weak to parries, but it's hard to parry. And he's oh, the unfortunate SD yeah, by afraid the, of the pineapple. Have to go at an angle and just didn't make yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> Still, today I'm taking him to uh, last stock. Yep. So a good start. Sunito obviously the favorite to win this one. Yep. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna grab my jab. Uh, wait, Roy. Yo, 
Joe, what's up? Did you drive here? No, you uh, I, I rode with Roy. I took Zerby to game five. What's that? I took Zerby to game three. Dude, that's sick. I mean, we obviously saw that you had you had the stuff against Snake earlier. Yeah, I, I, that was the first time I've ever played in Smash. What? Yeah. That's the first time you played a Snake? Yeah. All right, whatever, dude. I took, uh, I took Zerby to game five, or game three, I mean. Nice. Who in our car is still in? Um, me. I don't know. Oh, you're still ended? Yeah. Who have you beaten so far? <laughs> I just beat Move, a Chrome player. Okay. Sick. Good call. All right, Good so we're call. back in. Yep. Uh, today we're switching to Fox. Yeah. I like Fox in this matchup. Really? I think he's got faster options to deal with Sonic. Yeah, and if you can call out his movement, um, obviously Fox is Nair being his only move, yeah. but it'll it'll set up into his up smash and uh, be able to close stocks, I think, more effectively than great empty empty jump into the jab. I mixed up the timing and Sunita put a shield down. Didn't actually get anything on the jab though. Didn't even finish the jab. Catches the fair. <laughs> Oh, hits the Nair, but doesn't actually get the follow-up. Uh, today, we're not really pressuring Sonic. Not, I mean, I don't know how to pressure Sonic either, so. But, oh, and catches him with a two-frame F smash. Yeah. <laughs> you don't want to get hit by that, especially on a stage like this where the ledge is so close to the blast zone, but that was uh, death no. either way. But getting two-framed by an F smash does not feel good. All right, today I was just trying to make it back on stage, but Sunita's giving him a hard this time. This is going to be a big weakness of oh, another, another two one. frame. This is going to be a big weakness right. of Fox in this matchup. Yeah, such a linear recovery. Sonic not afraid to go off stage. Oh no, not at all. Or just sit there and F smash. Yeah, exactly. So linear recovery, especially if he uses side B. Um, Fox probably more. Oh man, yeah. bad up smash on. He was hoping it was going to hit. And good DI by Sunita not to get followed up on by that. Yep. Oh my goodness. And another and two Sonic frame. apparently really good at two framing. Oh yeah, definitely. And Tadeo not doing the best job mixing up his timings to get back to ledge. So, um, I don't know if it's just adaptation from Sunito, but this Fox pick not looking like the play. No. Apparently not. Let's see if he can bring it back with some moves up. Yeah, at least try and take a, two stocks maybe. As a, as a pride thing, uh, but this is looking like a, a rough one to try and actually come back from. Hey, you always gotta try to come you back. You always gotta believe, you know. It's it's a simple philosophy as old as time. Don't get hit, right? Yeah. And uh, obviously a lot harder on a character that's so hard to get matchup experience against. Oh, uh, and he's so hard to hit, too. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, wow, and that, that uh, actually took it. That, yeah. That close to the blast zone, I guess that was enough. Right. So this was the winner's quarterfinals. I guess we're still not in uh, in best of five territory. Not till semis. Not till semis.